What does it mean to be a culturally competent military and veteran therapist? Great question. Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Dr. McCleary, licensed clinical psychologist and Navy veteran. And my content is dedicated to educating veterans, service members, and their families about mental health. So if that's you, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to give my fellow clinicians five tips to be more culturally competent in their practice with veterans and active duty populations. And we're starting right now. One of my pet peeves, and admittedly, I have a few, with my fellow therapists who serve active duty populations and veteran populations is when they don't consider veteran and military culture into their case conceptualization. Now, there's a few reasons for this, and it's not that they have never served. I have worked with a lot of great civilian therapists over the years who have served both the veteran and active duty populations extremely well. Not talking about you guys, but some people don't understand that military populations are a culture. Some people don't take the time to educate themselves about the culture. And worse, some people do know about the culture, but feel like it doesn't matter. For my fellow clinicians that are watching this video, I challenge you to implement these tips into your regular practice with veterans and active duty populations. And for my veterans that are watching this video, put down in the comments what you would add to this list. First tip, and maybe the most important tip, is you have to recognize that the military and veterans or more than just groups of people that have served in the military. It's more than just a job. It's more than just a phase of somebody's life. This is an actual culture within itself with different traditions, with different mindsets, with different experiences. So all of these things contribute to somebody's point of view. They contribute to their behaviors and they absolutely contribute to their mental health. Now, being a culturally competent therapist means a few things. One, it means is you're a lifelong learner. Another thing that it means is you understand that one person has multiple different cultural identities and they all intersect at different levels at different times. Why this is important to think about if you work with veterans or active duty folks is often you are going to be working in a setting to where that veteran or military cultural identity is very salient for that person, very important for that person during that time. Here's an easy example. Maybe somebody served for four years, 30 years ago, and they don't really think from day to day about their veteran status. They don't go to VFWs. They don't wear a Vietnam veteran hat everywhere. Okay. So maybe not a salient cultural identity in their day to day. However, I will tell you that it is salient when you walk in that VA hospital. When somebody walks in that building to see a therapist or whoever that works at that hospital or that clinic, that cultural identity of being a veteran becomes more salient. 
something to think about. My next tip for you is to know the basics. You do not have to know everything about military history. You do not know, have to know about every war, every mission, every battle, the ins and outs of every piece of the culture of every different one of the branches, including now the Space Force. You don't know how to know all, all of that. What you do need to know is the basics because nothing turns off a veteran quicker than when they realize that you don't even know the basics about military culture. You don't know the difference between reserves and active duty. You don't know the difference between a sergeant and a general. And often what that tells the veteran, what that tells the patient, what that tells the client is that I'm not sure if that person can actually help me. You don't want that. You don't have to be an expert on this. But you want to be curious. You want to educate yourself. Think about it. If you work at the VA, literally it's got veteran on the name of the building. Maybe you should know a little bit about veterans. That sounds almost ridiculous when I say it. But it happens far too often. And it's far too common that clinicians that work at the VA that work on a military base don't know the basics. So you don't have to be an expert, but you better know something. My last tip for you is to consult your veteran peers. Oftentimes there are other veterans that may work very closely with you that might be able to clear up something that might be confusing for you or something that you don't quite understand. These are important resources. I know that often I get pinged all day when somebody has a question like, hey, doc, what is this? You know, did this happen? Is it this like this? You know, what else should I be considering? That's great. And although that sometimes bothersome because I'm one of the few veteran psychologists where I work at. I wouldn't have it any other way. Five tips to implement. Go get some. If this video was helpful for you, and I hope that it was, please like it or consider subscribing to my channel if you want to learn more about PTSD and mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, well, that means it can probably be helpful for another veteran or another clinician. So I ask that you share it with them. Because at the end of the day, that's really what all this is about. One veteran trying to help another.